an item of news, NFL media, agent on record with NFL media, Antonio Brown, re-signing with the Buccaneers. Reportedly $3.1 million deal that can be worth up to $6.25 million. You always wonder what the up to terms are. Super Bowl MVP sometimes is one of the triggers to get the full compensation. But Brown is back. So the band entirely back together in Tampa. Amazing. Settling, settling that lawsuit last week. I know Jason Light tried to downplay it. I say bullpucky to that. It, the, the lawsuit was everything. Because if that lawsuit doesn't go away, he testifies under oath at some point. It's potentially a disaster. And uh, that he that thing needed to go away before they were going to re-sign him, I believe. And now that it's gone, they re-sign him. Fans entirely back together for 2021. Chris. Yeah, it's hard to believe that that wouldn't be part of the conversation. And I mean, it, it just it, it looks too. I mean, it can't be that coincidental, you know. Yeah, that got solved. Then dialogue started to ha- you know go uh, go through a, a contract talk there. And now here we are a few days through the dialogue. They got him back. So, I mean, I think you were spot on with the fact and your read and with what Jason Light said and all that type of stuff. It's amazing to bring the band back in in full totality. uh, Again, I don't think we've ever seen it. It's it's truly special uh, with Jason Light, Bruce Arians, what they got going there in, in Tampa. And, you know, I don't know, Mike, what do you think? Antonio Brown, you think he had any other suitors out there? I mean, the looks of that contract tell me that, he really didn't, and this was just like, hey, we like you, and maybe we'll throw you a little bit more change than you know we have to because our quarterback likes you and we like what you did for our team last year. Last year it was the minimum. This year it's $3.1 right. million. So that's a nice little bump, and, and that opportunity to double it, more than double it, 6.25. I, I, look, I, I believe from what I've heard that even though Russell Wilson – had been stumping for Brown to go to the Seahawks. The Seahawks did their homework back in 2019 when they first started to really focus on Josh Gordon. Didn't want Antonio Brown. Ravens didn't want Antonio Brown. And and there's a an argument to be made that Lamar Jackson and Hollywood Brown, Antonio's cousin, were just being tactful and deferential to sure. the older player right. and that they really didn't want him either. That that the, and 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 the Ravens offered up Des Bryant as the compromise. Why to, would Hollywood want him there? Brown. Why would like ho, like Hollywood couldn't get the ball himself? He was mad at that. What he wanted Antonio, his cousin, to come in and steal some of them. So I'm with you. I don't know if that was like that was more. I, I hey, let's give respect to a legend, and we'd love to have him here. Kind of talk. I, I I kind of agree with you there on that take. There. And, and I remember explaining at the time the possibility first came up. The Ravens should not want Antonio there because when it goes sideways, and it always does, then he's going to poison Hollywood against the Ravens, and there goes your chance of keeping him around long term. If you've got Antonio constantly saying what a bunch of jerks they are. So uh, anyway. That's where that stands. Antonio Brown back with the Buccaneers. All the free agents back under contract, and now they get to select a whole new crop of incoming rookies on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.